Well, 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 we're back again with yet another no fluff analysis, and this time we're going to be talking about the two new spirals added to Flame Adventures on the 7th of December 2020, UTC. Let's cut the fluff and get straight to it with the first adventure, the four star flame sword, Serena. Serena's first skill is Assault Flame, which used to deal 1190% damage over two hits and granted a 10% team wide crit rate buff for 10 seconds. The damage has now been increased to 1204% over two hits. Serena's second skill is Blazing Pain, which used to deal 1148% damage over four hits, and it's now increased to 1160% damage over four hits. The shared SP cost has gone from 9186 to 9277, but I don't think anyone was using this shared skill anyway. Serena's first ability is Barrage Obliteration, which granted 6% permanent crit damage for every 20 hit combo up to 3 times in a quest. This has gone up to 7% per 20 hit combo. Stun Resist has become Potent Stun Resist, and her final ability is Barrage Devastation, granting 3% crit rate for every 30 hit combo up to 3 times in a quest, and this has now gone up to 5% crit rate for every 30 hit combo. Good lord, this is possibly one of the most underwhelming spirals I've ever seen. It looks like Cygames is wary of making Serena a powerful buffer. A crit rate buff on her S1 with an SP cost of 2.5k could have a fair amount of potential. However, this spiral barely touches her skills, and her ability changes boil down to an extra 3% crit damage and an extra 6% crit rate after reaching 90 hits. Even after a spiral, her damage mods are pretty low. Her skills have similar SP costs to Yudin, but have mods that are roughly 33% and 20% lower, even ignoring Yudin's burn in favour of Serena. The main benefit from spiralling Serena will come from the stat boosts, and even then I'm not 100% sure she'll become a top pick for any content. A skilled player could potentially pilot her through Legend Volk, but I think that same player could see better results with Yudin. There could be some potential team compositions out there built to leverage Serena's crit rate buffs, but I'm not confident in Serena making any big waves in the meta. All in all, I don't really recommend this spiral for newer players looking to aim at endgame, but those of you who already enjoy Serena's gameplay and character will have no issues. The second adventure receiving a spiral is the 4 star flame dagger, Yuya. Yuya's first skill is Deadly Joyride, which pre spiral dealt 1488% damage over 4 hits and granted a 20% attack rate buff for 10 seconds. This skill has seen a bit of an overhaul with the spiral and now deals 2239.5% damage over 12 hits, and also sees a change in its controllability being a bit easier to control. Yuya's second skill, Rowdy Rumbler, was a team wide 10% defense, 15% strength buff for 15 seconds, and also granted a shield that blocked up to 20% of the user's hit points. The spiral increases the shield strength to 30% of the user's hit points, and the shared skill point cost goes from 17,430 to 18,846. Yuya's first ability is Chicken at Heart. Pre spiral, this just gave 20% strength at 60% hit points and minus 20% strength when below 60% hit points. The spiral gives it a new effect. Every time Deadly Joyride hits an enemy three times, Yuya gets minus 10% defense for 5 seconds, but gains 5% skill damage, stacking up to 100%. These stacks are consumed when using an attack skill. Yuya's stun resist goes to potent stun resist, and his primed devastation goes from 5% to 10%. So surprisingly, Yuya gets a moderate overhaul with his spiral. At a base level, scoring all S1 hits against a single target will give his next defensive skill plus 20% skill damage, but with the trade off of a cumulative 40% defense debuff across 4 debuffs. Yuya players will have to be somewhat familiar with the fights they're using Yuya in to avoid eating unavoidable hits while under defense debuffs, otherwise it could potentially lead to sad times. In order to cap out the skill damage buff, Yuya will have to score 60 hits with his S1, which is technically possible if there are 5 closely clustered enemies such as Warbs in the Volk fight. 
It's pretty unlikely for four wolves to be clustered right next to Volk and perfectly positioned for you to hit all of them, but with a Yukata Cassandra on the team or a Yukata Cassandra skill share, this lowers the threshold to three enemies. You'll also get minus 200% defense. Taking a hit then will definitely lead to a very, very bad day for Yuya. Yuya's S2, Rowdy Rumbler currently sees a lot of use in Legend Volk as a means to support Ezolith Cheese strategies. Used in this way, there isn't a huge change in efficacy, with just a slightly larger shield that probably doesn't get used too often. Even the increased SP cost shouldn't change too much, considering that Big Chungus renders SP costs moot. Yuya Spiral definitely has some potential, but I'm not entirely confident in his ability to compete against premier flame dagger picks such as Galalaxy and Ezolith. Due to his self-inflicted debuffs, Yuya's also another spiral I'm wary of recommending to newer players. Reducing your defense at the wrong part of a fight will lead to deaths, requiring some degree of familiarity of fights and a bit of planning to use Yuya to his full potential. With the additional skill damage buffs though, Yuya could potentially use Xander and Karina's skills somewhat self-sufficiently, but definitely not to the degree that Ezolith can due to a lack of crits on demand. Overall, Yuya's spiral does a lot more for his power level than Serena's, with a change to his overall playstyle and introducing the potential for risky plays for some extra damage. I wouldn't recommend either of these spirals when newer players though. Newer players looking to tackle endgame fights on a budget would be better served spiraling Yudin. In fact, I'd say that I'm somewhat disappointed by Serena's spiral since she's seeing next to no skill changes and coasts mostly on just the stat bump. In the end, I'm not your boss, do what you want. If either of these units are your favourites, then I wouldn't blame you for spiralling them. As always, thank you very much for watching until the end. Stay safe, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next video.